Alright, what's up? Shout out to all my river rats out there. This is River Rat Rob back at it with vlog number three. I know I haven't been filming for three weeks and that's because Hollywood Casino said I can't vlog there no more. So, with that being said, me and Jake, the pit boss there, are trying to work on it so vloggers can come there and play and film. So if y'all like that, if you want to come to Perryville, Maryland and play, make sure you comment below so we can sign this petition. I greatly appreciate everybody that's shown me support so far. I know I'm trying to grow my beard out. I look kind of crazy, but um, man, we're going to get into it with some hands. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get all the notifications. Greatly appreciate everybody rocking out with me. Shout out to the C2B family once again. Man, I'm just indebted. Just thank you for everything. All the support. Everybody that's been coming by. Everybody from Maryland, I greatly appreciate you. Um, this vlog, man, is, is packed with action. It's packed with action, full of content. I added some new things. So um, <coughs> I'll see y'all there. Let's go. One, two, no, one, three, no limit. One, three, no limit. Hollywood Casino. Let's go, baby. The first hand, I'm on a button. And guess what we have? We're feeling good. We're feeling really good. We got pocket tens. That 2010 10. 10 of hearts, 10 of spades. We're playing 1 3. I raise it to 15 because I love playing the button. I feel like that controls the action. And it's me and four other players. So the pot is $64. And we're about to get it in. Now I'm feeling pretty good. And then the flop comes. Eight king of hearts, four diamonds. I feel pretty good. Even if they have a um, king, I still think I can hit a flush maybe because there's three hearts on there. So I checked the first thing and then on the turn comes the seven of hearts. Somebody could have got there. He bets out for $15. This is me and the cutoff. Heads up. Bingo, we hit trips on the river, baby. Yes, 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 yes. But we gotta kinda slow down because the flush is still out there. The guy bets out for $30 and I play with this guy very, very often. He doesn't bluff that much. Um, only call a couple times. He plays high pairs and he also plays flush draws. So we're gonna call the 30 because just $30 is not like a big stat and he turns over. And look, every single fucking time. The four six of spades. Yes, he got there. I should have never checked. I should apply some pressure on him. Because it was heads up after everybody folded. Every I end up losing that pot, but I will not forget, that's for sure. And I'm not mad. But guess what? Right now, the next hand, we got pocket aces, them all Americans. The cutoff raises to 15. And since I got pocket aces, I'm not just going to call. I'm going to raise it up to $40. That way we can get some more people out of the hand. And hopefully he calls me. The reason why I bet 40 is to eliminate as much threats as I got. People are going for flushes, people are going for straights. I want to bet 40 to get a heads up, that way I can control the pot. Right now the pot is $123 and the flop comes jack four of hearts and there's also an ace of diamonds. So I wait for them to check and I'm applying pressure, I will take down $123 any day so I go all in. $123 and one three no limit is good, it's good, it's a good pot, you know. It's not the best pot, but it's a good pot to try to take down. And right now I have the nuts, so why not take it down while I can and not let a heart draw come. If there is a heart draw or even a straight draw, somebody can have king 10. So, you know, that's the reason why I went all in to take down this pot. And um, yeah, we end up showing we have pocket aces and take down this $123. The next hand, we get ace five of hearts. I'm on the button once again, and the flop comes eight of diamonds, ace of spades, four of diamonds. Um, I'm fairly pretty good because I'm on the button. You gotta learn how to control that button. It's a great thing, so if you're not learning how to control the button, you gotta learn. Everybody check. I put out a small bet, and guess what everybody does? Everybody folds, and we end up taking that hand down just with nine five right there. So I'm seeing that the table is, um, Playing pretty conservative. The 
Next hand, we have Nine of Spades, Queen of Hearts. I'm on the button once again, and I had a straddle of $11. We have three callers, so the three ways to the pot, and a flop comes King of Spades, Six Jack of Hearts. The reason why I'm playing like this, you remember the first hand when the guy got the flush on me. Um, nobody knows what I have, so I can act like I have two hearts, and that's the reason I'm calling. But the guy bets out for $30, and I eventually make the call. Small blind folds. It's just me and the big blind. Turn comes a 10 of clubs. We hit the straight. It's so, so sneaky. He has no idea. We hit the straight because we straddled, and we called. So he bets out for $65. I eventually make the call, feeling pretty confident in my cards. The pot is $224, and I'm feeling really good. On the river, it's a dud, four spades. The guy checks, and I say, I'm going all in, just to see where he's at. I'm gonna ask y'all, how many times does this guy say the world? Uh -uh, I had it. Yeah, I know you. I know what you had. I know what you had. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. I hear you. Yeah, this one's a banger right here. Right now, I got five, ten of diamonds. I'm in a splaw blind. And um, I don't know. I just felt weird, weird, weird of this hand. Um, I think I played it wrong, so y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Um, the guy, which is the cutoff, raised to $10. And we have, yep, we got six people all here for the party. And the flop comes, the five of spades, two five of hearts. Let's go, we hit trip throughout the flop. And also pay attention to this hand because I got a video at the end where you see that this same thing happens, but it's kind of from a different perspective. So um, look at here, I bet off for 20 and the cut off re-raises me for $40. He re-raised me, I got trips and he re-raises me? Huh, yeah, I feel like that was a slap in the face. So I make the call, I'm feeling pretty good. And guess what happens? The five of clubs happens, I feel so bad for him. I check, and he bets out again for 35 dollars he must be going for a flush or something you know and i'm acting like i don't have it i'm doing my hollywood i'm doing my best will smith impersonation i can't really say that unless that's a slap but guess what it is a slap in the face since i made the call <laughs> oh wow i got quads and i'm feeling pretty good and guess what on the river it doesn't even matter what the river is it doesn't matter how you feel i got quads six of diamonds he checks I go all in, and I'll let y'all hear the high beam. Yeah. High hand, there we go. High hand, on one. Yep, I got the high hand, an extra $400. I was, I was thinking about, he's, he's betting to me. If I do that, he's not going to give no money. Yeah, that's true. You gotta be careful about that. Huh? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was more than enough to buy. On the next hand, we pick up four nine of diamonds on small blind. Um, I'm still on the heater. I'm feeling pretty good, man. Feeling really good. Undergun raises to $15. Of course, I'm going to make a call because right now I'm on the heater and <laughs> I'm burning up. I'm hot right now. I'm on fire. Yeah, I feel like I can't lose, you know. And um, yeah, we got three people. So the pot is $45. And then on the flop is a four of hearts. For a space and a jack of clubs. That lonely little jack compared to my trips is so minute. And of course, I check it. 
The cutoff bet fifteen dollars and the course I make the call. On a turn there was an ace of diamonds, so I check it once again. To the aggressive player, which he bets off for thirty five dollars. Um I was just gonna call right here, but um I feel got a feeling like he could have like ace jack or whatever, so you know what? I re raised him to seventy dollars just so I can get some more equity. Uh, the aggressive player and of course he snap calls feeling pretty confident in himself so let's see what happens on the river right now about this hand I'm feeling pretty confident until uh, on the river was a queen now he could have a straight he could have a pocket pair so I check it over to him and he shows me that he had ace king we uh, take down this pot for two hundred and fifteen dollars and yeah man I was running red, red, hot. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. And he would like to say some words to me, so I'm going to let y'all listen to this. Small blind. I mean, I'm not calling my small blind. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Okay, you're saying calling both. It's winning. It's a winner. Oh, yeah, it's a winner. I'm just saying. I'm losing my Everybody equipment. gets one when they, when they have to. As I start to play at Hollywood Casino, I'm starting to notice people noticing me more and more when I get in and the table changes. Literally, uh, last time that I went to Hollywood Casino, people were changing their seats when I came, trying to get to my left, so I'll be to the right, like I'm an aggressive player. I'm not an aggressive player. Well, I don't think I am. But anyway, let's get into this hand. Right now, I got 7, 10 of diamonds. I'm on the button once again. As you can tell, I love to play the button. It's one of my formulas of winning. Play aggressive on the button. And we have just me and the small blind. Flop comes six of spades, jack two of diamonds. And I have two diamonds, so I battle for ten dollars. And um this one's an easy one. The guy just <laughs> lays his cards down and I win a little pot for twenty-three dollars. But that brings us to the end of this session at Hollywood Casino where I was running red hot. Here is a bonus hand that I added just for you. Right now we're in the horseshoe playing 1-3 no limit. And um, I got pocket fives. I'm feeling really good. I was running hot that day. Um, this is the second time that I went back to the horseshoe. I absolutely love, love, love the horseshoe. Um, five people call for $10. And the flop comes two of spades. Five to a diamonds. Remember the one hand. Remember that. I'm feeling really good, man. I got a full house. You never know. Somebody might have pocket twos. So the guy bet out for fifteen dollars, and I call. That was a small blind, I believe. That bet out for fifteen dollars, and we have four people that called. The pot is building up, and I'm feeling pretty confident in myself. Right now, I have the second nuts, and there's one out of a million chance that somebody has quad twos. So I eventually make the call and I'm feeling pretty good. And on a turn card, it's a king of hearts. The guy checks, so I bet out for $50. And believe it or not, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, me and another person getting a heads up. But the guy to my left calls, hang on. The guy in the one seat think about it, but yet folded, got in the two seat folded. And now it's just a small blind. He actually makes the call. So the pot is building up very nicely as the river comes and it's just the dud, the eight of clubs. The guy bets out for $50, thinking he can win that pot. I go wall in and the other guy folds to my left and you see what happens as he, small blind, makes the call. Now let's listen to this guy talk about his jack. Yeah. I needed a fucking jack. I knew you had a full house. What? Bro, what are you talking about? I need a jacket. Oh, he's got four, four, fifteen. I was asking for a jack. That's all I needed. Yeah. Can you break down one of those hundred stacks to make sure it's a hundred? Yeah. We're actually here. Let's face it up. We're good. I needed a jacket. Thank you. Boy, if that boy would have hit a jack, you'd have been sick. Appreciate all the support so far. You stayed to the end of the video. And what I'm going to do is a giveaway. 
For somebody that can tell me how many times the guy said Jack at the end of the video, we'll get a River Rat Rob hat. Yes, a River Rat Rob hat, one lucky person. In this vlog, we was in for $300, left out with $1,240. We read off for $200 more, so we got a profit of $740. Leave a comment so you can be like Dan and be on the next video. Um, Dan said, keep getting better, man. Hit up some other vloggers and see if they can help me in any way. Wish they have. I hit up a lot of people and I implemented it into the video. So I greatly appreciate it and I hope y'all are having a great day. River at Rob.